Hello everyone, this is one of four videos that we will be making showing all of the FLL techniques that we have learned and used in the hydrodynamic season. Each of the four videos shows one of our four runs which put together can achieve a perfect score within the two and a half minute time frame. We hope you find these videos very inspiring and maybe they can help you to become better engineers and invest yourselves in STEM. This run is the fourth and final run and we call it the water run. This is our highest scoring run and can get 195 points. However, getting those 195 points depend on the previous runs to collect a number of things, including a big water, the sludge, and the fire truck. Here we go. This attachment is our heaviest and affects the accuracy of the robot. As we leave base, we use the light sensors to notice if we have drifted north or south by using the spot on the map where there are large blue, green, and white areas. If we see green, we go straight to the line. If we see blue or white, we do small corrections to the north or the south. Once we reach the line, we look at the color we see right afterwards to further correct our latitude. We will see either green or white. At this point, we just make a note of what color we see. We have more aggressive code that tries for the tripod bonus, but is not as consistent as we would like it to be and can sometimes push the flip manhole cover out of the circle, thus costing us 45 points. So, we also have a safety version, which only sacrifices the 5 point bonus of the tripod. Here, we turn based on the note we made earlier about seeing green or white after the white line. This time, we square on the line using the back light sensors to position us for the next move. Most of our attachments are designed to allow squaring on walls, and this one is no different. The next moves will require accuracy, so we can square on both the black and white lines here. The fire truck's ladder is the key to putting out the fire. The big waters are held in place by rubber tips on this door. We used to have Bombay doors under the water, but a tip from a YouTube viewer gave us this new idea. Thanks. The small water has a special compartment in the door. We'd like to give a shout out to Team Swarm, who was the first to point out that we could not stack the small water on the big waters as we had done in our previous runs. We then mechanically align on the barrier for one of our favorite strategies called the park and score. We have variations on the last part of this run that can extract the big water from the other team's water pump if they have not done that mission and it can also move the water target to knock the other team's big water into the target using the barriers if it is in other various positions on the board. Our master control program allows for us to run whichever program is needed at the end depending on what has happened with the other team's big water. On the well, the rules state that the well must be in contact with the mat and that the contact must be in the circle for bonus. To make this easier, we designed a well carrier that allows just one corner of the roof to touch the mat. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope this video will help you in your future FLL careers. If you have any other questions or comments, please be sure to comment them down below and we will definitely answer them. Don't forget to check out all the other cool videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.